start with a slip knot, chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Single crochet in the second stitch from the hook and in each stitch of the chain. chain one and turn. This chain one takes the place of the first stitch so start in this second stitch single crochet in each stitch all the way across the row. Chain one and turn. Again single crochet in each stitch across the row. One, two, three, four, and five. You're going to continue to work this way until this section measures approximately two inches. Okay, I've worked until this measures approximately two inches, and for me that was six rows. So I've turned my work and I'm just going to slip stitch into this first stitch and then I'm going to single crochet in the next three stitches one, two, and three and I'm not going to work into that stitch I'm going to chain one and turn and I'm just going to work into those few stitches this is the heel end of the booty okay I have worked until the booty is about three and three quarter inches long and that would fit from newborn to three months. So now I'm going to chain two and I'm going to half double crochet all the way around till I get back here. To make a half double crochet yarn around the hook, insert into the next stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through, pick up the yarn and pull it through all three loops on the hook. So I'm going to go all the way around making half double crochet in each stitch all the way around the sole. So I'm going to do that and then I'll come back and show you. So all the way around until I get back here. Okay, I worked all the way around and there's how the little sole looks and it's already starting to curl up around the edges here. And this was my last stitch and that was my chain two but I'm going to slip stitch to join in the very first half double crochet. And that's what the little sole looks like. So now I'm going to chain two and turn. And I'm going to half double crochet in each stitch around, but I'm only going to work in the back side of the stitch. So half double crochet all the way around, working only in the back side of the stitch. Okay, so work all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around, and at the end of the row, I'm going to slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two. And that's how the little sole looks from the side and from the top. Chain two, one, two, and turn. And again, working only in the back loop, I'm going to half double crochet all the way around. Okay, all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around and at the end of the row slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two. Now for the next row I'm going to be decreasing for the front so I need to identify the stitches that are above exactly where it increased. So I'm going to place a marker on each side like that. So I'm going to chain two and turn I'm going to half double crochet right up to this marker. Okay, now I'm at that marked stitch. So I'm just going to remove it. I'm going to start as though I was making a regular double crochet. 
I'm going to pull up a loop. I'm going to go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and now pull the yarn through all those loops on the hook. The yarn over, insert through the next stitch and pull up a loop, insert through the next stitch, pull up a loop, insert through the next stitch, pull up a loop, pick up the yarn, pull it through all four loops on the hook. I'm going to go all the way to here. And that will pull in the front part of the booty. And now continue with the half double crochet until you get back to that first chain two. And slip stitch to join in the top of the first chain two. And there's what the booty looks like from the front, from the side, and from the bottom. So now I'm going to repeat this row one more time. So again, I'm going to come up and mark that stitch, mark that stitch. So chain two, turn, half double crochet up to this marked stitch. So half double, half double, half double. I can remove this marker. So now I'm going to do my reduction, pull up a loop, Pull up a loop, pull up a loop, pull through all loops on the hook. And one more time, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull up a loop, pull up a loop, pull through all the loops on the hook. And now I'm going to half double crochet until I get back to here. Slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two. If you wanted to make these for little girls, you could just tie a little bow here in the front or pass a ribbon all the way through and tie a bow. And then that would give you some little Mary Jane booties like that. And now I'll continue and show you how to make the tall booties. So to make the tall booties, I'm going to chain two and I'm going to make a popcorn stitch in every second stitch around. So in this stitch, I'm going to make another four double crochets. So don't complete the double crochet, just do the first part. So pull the yarn through, pick up the yarn and pull it through two. So I'm going to do that until I have five double crochets. So one more. Now make a double crochet in the next stitch and a popcorn stitch in this stitch. So yarn around the hook, pick up the yarn and pull it through, pull it through two loops. Do that four more times. One more. Now I have six loops on the hook. Pick up the yarn and pull it through all the loops on the hook. So double crochet in the next stitch. Popcorn stitch in the next. And you're going to continue all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around. At the end of the row, I'm going to slip stitch to join in the top of that chain two. And I'm just going to do the top band, so I'm going to chain two and turn. And I'm going to make one double crochet in each stitch all the way around the opening. So one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around. At the end of the row, I'm going to slip stitch to join in the top of the first chain two, fasten off. If you like, you can pass a chain cord through the ankle section. There's how they look from the side, from the bottom, and from the front. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed. 
finding out how to make these cute little last minute booties. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.